Well, it's TT safety time again, and uh, every year we do a chat with Mr. Crenny. In the past, we were having uh, bacon baps, and it was maybe bigger budgets. I don't know, cutbacks now, but we're at the Manx Museum, Eye Museum today. Um, on a serious note, though, I mean, I remember asking you last year, does anybody really pay attention to a sign? Does anyone really going to slow down and therefore save a life? Because, I mean, there were five deaths last year. Wasn't there? Well, it's not just about the signs. Uh, you'll see today that Dave Molyneux is here with us. Also, Connor Cummins is involved this year, and I want to see that expanded in the time ahead because I do believe that people would actually li listen to people who are actually associated with the events. And when I was the 10 years Minister for Tourism, the message I consistently tried tried to give out was we don't want to see people riding at racing speeds in the Isle of Man on the open public roads. What we want to see, if people want to do that, is get them involved in the races themselves, get a licence and get involved that way. But here we're asking people to respect our roads. Five deaths though last year. There were five deaths last year and an inevitable consequence unfortunately of so many people come to the Isle of Man is that there will be accidents. The difference between a serious accident and a fatality is in a, a touch you know it's a very difficult area um, but yes we don't want to see any deaths um, we, we want people to act responsibly and we want them to take note and, and, and just take care on the roads and that applies to the local population as well young people are, are keen on the races so we're trying to involve them as well so that they know that this is a time when it, we're going to be much busier we love to welcome people to the Isle of Man but at the same time everybody's got to be aware that there will be so much more traffic around. You say you're going to review how you handled TT last year after the deaths and is, this is your best bet is it? Well this is an a, a, there's an ongoing campaign in terms of road safety, but in specifically for TT, one of the things I have, have said and what I want to just said to you now and want to improve more for the future is more involvement of the, the guys who are actually up there at the front end, the, the, the racers, and I want to see their endorsement of this campaign, and I think then the fans will even more buy into it. I mean, you were questioned about having a speed limit again back in the Isle of Man. You've declined even to look at that again. You don't think that has any cause in this whole factor that people can come over here and quite legally in places, as long as it's no due care and attention issues, they can go at whatever speed they want. Yeah, but they're not encouraged by anybody to do that. And, and what I've said consistently is that they should uh, ride within their capabilities. They should ride uh, or drive with, within the conditions that prevail. And uh, I don't think the people who ride at excessive speeds or dangerously, are can, we can endorse their behaviour for one moment and wouldn't do. But isn't it like uh, having a free bar in a sense? If people just go mad because they can go mad, here, legally, they can do whatever speed they want uh, under certain terms and conditions. Uh, well, I would say is that it would be impossible to uh, effectively uh, enforce all of the island all of the time in terms of this and that's why we ask for people to act in a common sense way and i mean five deaths last year was, was higher i think than quite other years but I mean, do you have a, a number that is acceptable no no obviously uh, any death is unacceptable and that's why we each year try and encourage people to think about uh, what's happening here. This is a great event, this is an international event and we want people to come here, enjoy themselves and go back safely. That's why so much time is dedicated by uh, my staff who will be on the boats, there will be at events encouraging people to consider things. And as I say, what we've done now is we've got the endorsement of uh, Dave Molyneux um, and also Connor Cummins and we're looking to further expand that in the future so that people who come here and are interested in the races will more likely to listen to their voice than mine.